Hello everybody and welcome to The Curious Over again. Today we have a very fun drink which is a Sauvignon Blanc from uh, New Zealand that is de-alcoholized. So what de-alcoholized wine actually means is exactly what it sounds like. It is a wine that was originally made to have alcohol, uh, the same way that, that regular wine is made. And then there's a process called de-alcoholization, I think, that uh, takes away the, the alcohol. Less than 0.5% alcoholic content, but it doesn't mean that there's no alcohol in it at all, so it's not like a sparkling water, it's not a grape juice. Uh, but there is a little bit of alcohol, but it's almost negligible. The brand that we have today comes in a beautiful bottle. Uh, it is from a brand called Giesen. I actually don't know how to pronounce the brand, so if you guys know how to pronounce it, um, put that below. But I assume it's Giesen because there is a logo there with a little geese on it, uh, almost like a, a coat of arms. And it looks really cool as a bottle. It looks exactly like a bottle of wine that you would buy from a regular wine store. And I like that because you don't want it to look a little bit different. And I don't know, sometimes like there's there's a stigma in terms of drinking non-alcoholic non things. And while I don't have any judgment there, I know a lot of people want to have, to be able to drink something and not feel like they're drinking something non-alcoholic and it's different than everybody else. So this is the Giesen 0% uh, de-alcoholized New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, it comes in a 750 milliliter bottle. 750 milliliters is the normal size for any kind of wine. So the wine itself is about 45 calories per serving, uh, which is about 12 ounces according to this bottle. And there's a total of two servings in the bottle, totaling about 100 calories. So I actually was able to go on the Giesen site and found out that there's actually a lot less calories in this non-alcoholic wine. So for people that are a little health conscious, want the taste, but don't want the calories, let me look at this real quick. A glass of Giesen 0% has 80% less calories per serve than a traditional 12.5% alcoholic uh, Sauvignon Blanc. So that's a huge reduction in calories. And that might be a reason why you might en end up drinking non-alcoholic. At any rate, let's try it. Uh, we will be judging this on three main criteria. The first one is taste, second one is mouthfeel, and three is overall value. Little twist off. Little twist right there. All right, so here's the first taste. I quite like that. It's a very interesting thing. So it definitely tastes like wine, which I'd hope it did. And it's just got a very like subtle flavor to it. It's definitely not as strong as I expected it to be. Um, also, it's not as sweet as I expected it to be. I actually heard from a lot of people that drink non-alcoholic wines that it tends to just taste like grape juice and it's a lot sweeter. But I'd say like this is a, almost like a, a very adult white grape Welch's. It's not a really great comparison because it really doesn't taste exactly like, like Welch's or, or it's actually pretty far apart from it. it. Definitely tastes more on the wine side. So if I would say like, you know, on a one to 10 scale, one being Welch's grape juice and then 10 being um, a wine. This is probably closer to an eight to a wine. Before heading into the re review, I definitely need to note this. So on the label itself, there's actually 6% grape juice 80% de-alcoholized New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc wine, and 14% de-alcoholized New Zealand white wine, which means that this is a mixture of actually uh, grape juice as well as 94% other types of wine. It's mainly Sauvignon Blanc, but it also has like probably a mixture of white wine inside of it, which I think is interesting instead of just giving a pure Sauvignon Blanc. All right, so let's start with the taste. The taste is very dry, which, for me, it's a good thing. I didn't want something that was super sweet. I heard like it might taste like grape juice uh, from other people, and it definitely doesn't. While it does have some grape juice in it, and I would say that there's kind of a, um, there's something missing in terms of that that alcoholic tinge that you feel uh, when you taste it. It's, it's not quite there, but it is still pretty predominantly wine. I would say that most people, unless they're you know, high kind of sores of, of wine, uh, if you were to just have this on a random picnic day and just kind of had it out, I don't think people would notice that there was no alcohol in here because wine, you know, has has a less alcoholic taste in general, and I would say that like this mimics that taste pretty uh, easily. It 
It's definitely grapey and has some uh, floral notes to it. I'd give it a 3.75 out of five. When it comes down to mouthfeel, um, the wine itself, when you drink it, it just feels like wine. So the other thing about alcohol is a lot of times it leaves some type of lingering taste on your tongue, the aftertaste, and this actually does a really good job of staying on your tongue. Like as I'm talking right now, I can, I can feel some of the bitter notes, some of the flower notes. Uh, it's pretty good, and I'd say that for the most part, this mimics wine really, really well. I am not disappointed uh, by the mouthfeel. I give this four and a half out of five. It, it's pretty good. I, there's no way I, I would kind of suspect it being a non-alcoholic or de-alcoholized wine. In terms of price, this was $13.99 from Whole Foods. If you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you want to buy this specific wine or other wines like it, uh, hit the affiliate link down below so that you can get your own bottle. I would say at $13.99, it's priced very correctly. It's not too expensive, but it's not super cheap either. As you guys know, wine can vary widely in terms of price. You can get one for $5 and all the way up to obviously infinity uh, in terms of how much you might be able to pay for a wine. So I think at $13.99, it is priced at a point where if you wanna try the wine, you can definitely afford it, but I wouldn't say it's the cheapest thing either. But either way, I feel like the value is there. It's got a great taste. Um, it's got some lingering aftertaste, which I really like. Um, the mouthfeel is great. So I'd say at the, this price point, another four and a half out of five. To run it back, we got 3.75 for taste, 4.5 for mouthfeel, and 4.5 for price, leaving us with a score of 4.25, and I'm pretty sure anything above a four is pretty darn good and, and worth trying. Thanks again for joining The Curious Sober. Until next time, sip smarter. Cheers.